In this section, we will install the PLTC motor. First, we insert the screws into the lower hole of the upper right pair and the upper hole of the lower left pair. Use the same screws that previously held the brushed motor in place. Note that the motor shaft is not entirely round, there is a flat, flat edge. First we have to orient the motor so that the wires are above the motor case, casing. Locate that flat edge and use pliers to rotate the flat edge so that it is facing towards the right side of the chassis. Reinstall the motor gear pinion so that the screw hole of the motor gear pinion is aligned with the flat side of the motor shaft. Thus, once the screw is reinserted, don't do it yet, the end of the screw will be in contact with the flat edge, edge of the motor shaft, preventing the motor gear pinion from slipping. Also ensure that the motor gear pinion is pushed as far back onto the shaft as possible while at the same time being able to be screwed in from the right side. The reason why we push it in as far as possible is so that when the motor gear cover is inserted so that it does not touch the gear pinion. Insert the motor gear pinion screw, tighten the screw as much as possible, but be careful not to strip it. It is also a good idea now to reinsert the metal drive shaft in place. Although it is not shown in the video, it is a good idea now to Lift the car and spin the drive shaft gear to test if the drive shaft and the motor gears have properly mated. The motor gear should turn as you spin the drive shaft without much resistance. Flip the car onto its side and reinsert the three screws that fasten the motor mount to the chassis. This ensures that the drive shaft will stay in place. Reinsert the right rear, right rear wheel shaft and rotate the rear wheel towards the chassis to hold it in place. Place the upper suspension back to its original position. And secure it in place by reinserting the metal rod. Use pliers to reinsert the rod if necessary.
Reinsert the screw that originally held the metal rod in place. Now we reinstall the plastic motor gear cover into its original position. There should be six screws left. Flip the car back over, place it on the floor and lightly push it forward. The car should freely move forward at least a few feet from coasting to the stop. Then repeat, except push it backwards. If the car doesn't fully move forward or backward, the motor gear pinions is most likely not pushing far enough, as mentioned before, and is rubbing against the motor gear cover. Go back and do this and push it in further. Flip the car over and reinsert all of the screws that attach the rear suspension to the car chassis. After that, we reattach the two rear linkages to the motor gear by pushing the unconnected ends back down onto the metal balls. Use pliers if necessary. Verify if the car moves freely by pushing it on the floor back and forth to see if it is able to move smoothly. If it does, the brushless motor has been installed successfully.